it's 12 minutes past nine. We were due to depart at 7.50 and we're still in Greece. Let me explain what's happening. situation in today's video. I wasn't planning to make this one but uh, it's turning into quite an interesting story. It's 9.20 right now local time of the evening. We were due to leave at 7.50 so we're already an hour and a half late because of a couple of reasons. I'll fill you in on what's happening in a second but we need to be at Heathrow by 11 o'clock tonight before the company that's holding one of our bags closes. If we don't get there by 11 o'clock tonight I have uh, no idea what we're going to do. Are um, we going to leave the bag in Heathrow? Are we going to stay overnight and pick it up in the morning? Are British Airways helping us with this whole conundrum? No! So right now we're still at Zakynthos Airport. That's the airport behind me at the moment you can see. And we're on a British Airways A320 flight from Zakynthos here in Greece to London Heathrow. We were originally delayed by a couple of minutes, which was fine because they said that the incoming aircraft was delayed coming in due to air traffic control, which that happens, that's fine. That was only going to be about 10, 15 minutes as scheduled. But then we were told that the crew uh, had some engineering paperwork that had to be signed off by the engineering team here in Zakynthos. Interesting one, I'm not sure why that wasn't done earlier, but anyway, so that was then happening whilst the delay was going on. But now, what we found out is the crew require a sign-off from the engineering team actually in London <coughs> to allow the engineer here to sign something off. We haven't been told what it is. So the captain's waiting for a phone call to come through until he can get the approval, which means that then he can actually move this aircraft and we can fly back to London Heathrow. So we're just sitting here on the ground, waiting. There's movement. Engineers have gone. Is the main door closed? <laughs> the pilot seems to be doing something. Generally good. Yeah. As on the captain, uh, right, uh, everything's uh, sorted out, paperwork wise now. And uh, we're just talking with air traffic control uh, about a bunch of slot out of here. So I'll let you know uh, how that goes, hopefully we'll be off uh, very shortly though. Thank you. Very short. Yeah, I already know what this title of this video is going to be. See, the trouble now is as well, is that because we're so delayed, everyone's up and about and not sitting down. Now, it's going to take another 10 minutes for everyone to sit down in the cabin. Speaking to, just had a chat with the traffic control. And uh, at the moment, uh, due to flow constrictions, uh, we have uh, got about another 40 minutes on the start here to the aiming to make the car. Um, the, they tell us that these slots have been improving, so they are hoping that will come forward. But uh, I'll let you know if that does happen. Thank you. And if you would like some water, just let us know and we'll provide that for you for free. Uh, if you'd like to buy a drink in the meantime, uh, you're more than willing, willing. Uh, you're always welcome to come and see us at the rear of the... Uh okay, so we're not going to make the, we're not gonna make the bag, so I'm now on booking.com to see if I can find accommodation in Heathrow for the night. Want to stay in Heathrow tonight? No. <laughs> not me. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard we are we're ready to leave. If we need to ask you to return to your seat, ensure sure your seat back is there. I'm going to make sure I'm all right down. And your seat back is secure above. I'm just going to keep giving you these updates like this uh, as we find out things happening. So after hearing that it was going to be just a couple of minutes uh, before we take off, uh, this is like 10 minutes later. Um, and look, I know a bit about aviation and I can definitely confirm we haven't taken off yet. It's now exactly two hours since when we should have been scheduled to depart. Scheduled time of departure is 7.50, current time 9.50 p.m. And still no update. Oh. Finally. That's, that's exactly two hours. Two hours, two minutes. So she won't mind me showing you this, but Jackie is. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to read you on the same. Alright, we're finally on our way. I work 
worked out that was over two hours uh, after our scheduled departure time. Now, I want to say one thing. I get that planes can be delayed. I know engineering issues, weather issues, scheduling, fleet movement stuff. I get it. I fly as well. I know that aviation can run behind schedule sometimes. But let me put up on the side of the screen something I was looking at whilst we were on the ground there in Greece. This particular flight from British Airways from Zakynthos to London out of the last 12 times it's flown, 11 of those times it's been delayed. Now, I don't run an airline, I don't claim to know how to run an airline, but I can pretty honestly say, if you are running an airline and 11 out of the last 12 times it's flown a particular route, it's been delayed, you've got a bit of a problem there, guys. Now, we're not landing in Heathrow until way after 11 o'clock, so we're not gonna get our bag. We're undecided about whether we're gonna stay overnight in Heathrow. Um, and then pick up the bag in the morning or just go, we're actually heading off to my parents for a couple of days and then come back and pick up the bag on the way back through Heathrow Airport. Whatever happens, if we stay overnight in Heathrow, if we hire a car, we're not gonna get that money back. We're not gonna be compensated for it because British Airways are gonna say, well, they got us to Heathrow in the end. And the fact that we had a bag at Heathrow in a shop which closed at 11 o'clock is outside of their control. I get that. That is a fair enough point. My problem is it's still gonna cost us. So we're still gonna be out of pocket as a result of this experience. And that is why I honestly can say this is the last time I'm ever gonna fly British Airways. It kind of breaks my heart to say that, but the brand has just got worse and worse in my opinion. The consistent delays that I've had, the, the complaints that you've seen over the years about the quality of the some of the service, but the food quality, the fact that everything is charged for, the, the additional charges for baggage, the seating choices, you know, this really is, this is a low cost airline now. And if I'm gonna choose a low cost airline, to be honest, I've had better experiences with others in Europe over the last few weeks. So I'm just going to choose not to fly British Airways anymore. I hate to say it, I really do. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Tell me what you think about British Airways. Let me know below.